Alrighty, um, what is going on? I literally woke up, finally got sleep. I haven't been sleeping well at all. Finally woke up from a good sleep and I woke up to like hundreds of DMs being like, did you see this news? Did you see this news? I literally thought it was fake. I saw someone Snapchat to me and I literally thought they were just guessing that this ride was being removed. And then I went over to Kings Island social media and boy, it was confirmed. What is going on? What is with Cedar Fair and removing attractions? <laughs> like, I'm so confused. Um, so according to Kings Island, the ride has simply just reached the end of its service life, um, which kind of says that they can't maintain it anymore. I don't really understand how that could be the case. Now, from what I understand, again, correct me down below. Um, this is an arrow, not a Vacoma. An arrow doesn't exist anymore, thus getting parts is a little harder. Correct me down below, I believe this is an arrow, not a Vacoma. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but that might be why that they can't maintain the coaster anymore. Um, it is located in a very weird part of the park. This is not what I was expecting. When rumors started circulating that King's Island was going to announce a ride removal, I was expecting something near the front of the park, like in Vertigo. Um, I was honestly in, uh, expecting a front gate coaster. People were talking about the possibility of a front gate renovation. So I was like, oh, perfect. A wing coaster is coming to Kings Island probably in the next three to four years. Um, but nope, uh, they're removing a ride at the back of the park. Um, this makes things a little more difficult to figure out what's coming. Um, wing coaster isn't necessarily the most popular option or the most... Uh, the, the option that they might choose because it's located at the back of the park. And I think that a wing coaster would just be perfect near the front of the park. So I'm a little skeptical of what's to come to King's Island. I mean, uh, there's uh, lots of possibilities that uh, could come now. So it's a little more difficult to figure out what's next. So I guess that's the big question that everyone wants to know. Everyone's no one's here to like learn that Vortex is closing. Uh, we already know that everyone's checked social media. So what's next? Um, well, Again, as I said, it's extremely difficult. Uh, so there's only a couple of options that I could see fitting Kings Island, to be honest. Um, I had uh, a recent opportunity to go to Roller Coasters Day at Canada's Wonderland. And, you know, park officials kind of talked about possibilities and such like that. And we learned that, you know, ground up RMCs aren't out of the option for Cedar Fair. So maybe Kings Island has a ground up RMC in the works. Maybe it's themed to, oh, God, I don't want to say it. Son of Beast Returns, <laughs> something along those lines. It could be something along those lines. It could be uh, any B&M option possible. Maybe they're going to dethrone Yukon Striker in the next two to three years at Kings Island. That could be a possibility as well. But another possibility you have to look at, and all the enthusiasts that are wanting a coast in the next two to three years are going to drag me for this, is Forbidden Frontier at Cedar Point did well and it was gorgeous and we know and from what i'm hearing in the rumor mill at my home park as well it is expanding out to other parks yes there's land available but if this ride really did reach the end of its service life it doesn't necessarily mean a coaster is in the works now whenever a park removes especially cedar fair a big coaster like vortex there is usually a coaster coming in the next couple of years so i'm not saying that it's not going to happen because we do know that when a Cedar Fair does remove a coaster, it is probably going to be replaced. We see that with Volcano. We saw that with Skyrider. And I'm sure we're going to see that with um, Vortex as well. I mean, we saw it with Firehawk too at the same park. So I would expect a coaster in the next two to three years. The area is just interesting. Like, I, I, it's really difficult. Comment down below. So if you guys have any idea of what it possibly could be coming to Kings Island in the next two to four years, comment down below um, what you think that could be. I'm definitely going down the route of either a BNM or an RMC. They already got their GCI, and it's absolutely amazing from what I heard. They have their BNM Invert. They got their BNM Giga. They got their BNM Hyper. So, I mean, are they going to go down the equation of uh, maybe a Canada's Wonderland dive coaster? Um, are they going to go down the route of a RMC? Maybe it will be themed <laughs> A Son of Beast Returns. Oh, man, I know. I already know some people in the coaster community that we're friends with are probably going to slide into my DMs and drag me for even bringing up that possibility. But um, there's not too many options, okay? Cedar Fair is very basic. We know who Cedar Fair works with. We know the options that Cedar Fair chooses from. Um, and they're very small. So you can almost guarantee that they're probably going to get an RMC GCI 
um, or BNM. And then there's a few other unique people that they might work with, like Gertzlauer occasionally. So um, it's up in the air. Um, I don't see a Gertzlauer coming to this park. So if I were to honestly pick what I think could be next for Kings Island, it's probably a ground up RMC. Um, no, they're not going to RMC the beast. I can't see that. I know. Well, watch me be wrong, but I just can't see it. It's too big of a project. And then if they don't do the whole coaster, it will upset a lot of people. And it's just one of those iconic attractions from what I've heard. Um, so I just can't see them removing that for an RMC renovation. Um, and, uh, then you got to look down the possibility of a forbidden frontier attraction taking up the vortex area. From what I understand, again, if I ever make a mistake, feel free to drag me below in the comment section. This is a kind of like a frontier themed area. Um, I'm not too sure, but from what I can tell from the map and Google Maps, it looks like a frontier themed area and Forbidden Frontier type attraction could fit really well there. Um, but yeah, I honestly, I couldn't put my money on any specific attraction right now. It could be a flyer, it could be a wing coaster, it could be a ground up um, RMC, or it could be a dive coaster. Those are probably your four most likely options, to be honest, but I can't put any money down on any one of those four right now. Again, I was expecting an attraction at the front of the park to be removed and replaced by a wing coaster in the next two to three years. Wasn't expecting the back of the park. So I'm a little taken back by this. This is extremely sad. It looks like this is the new era for Cedar Fair. They're gonna start removing older attractions um, and replace them with newer attractions down the road. Um, this does not mean a coaster's coming in 2021. This does not mean a coaster's coming in 2022. Um, you're probably gonna see a coaster the earliest 2023. Um, for Kings Island at best, and then maybe 2024. Cedar Fair has said on the stockholders call they're not here to build coasters every other year like they've done previously or every two years. The, they're trying to spread out coaster years. So this does not mean a coaster's coming in 2021 or 2022. Again, I would put my money down at 2023 that Kings Island's going to replace Vortex. Um, again, we saw this at Canada's Wonderland. Wonderland. They removed Skyrider, and uh, it... They want seven years without building something in its water land. So who knows? Who knows? Um, but yes, nonetheless, super exciting. It does mean a coaster is coming. I'm not saying it's not. Um, so super excited to see what Kings Island's getting. It looks like Ohio is just going to be heavily invested in, period. Cedar Fair is looking to make Ohio something. Maybe they're going to do some sort of thing where they have the two-park promotion always, and they're trying to build up both parks. So guests want to go to Cedar Point, but also Kings Island, and it makes someone more likely to travel to Ohio to visit these two parks. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my analysis on what could be next for Kings Island. Um, again, I don't know the park that much, so feel free to drag me down below if I made any mistakes. And obviously, comment your opinions on what could be next for Kings Island and what years, or if you disagree with me on any of the things that I stated in this video. But honestly, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.